In today's lesson, we are going to be looking at drawing graphs to show the rate of a reaction. So this first past paper question that we're going to do is from the National 5, 2018, written 1, B part 2. And what we have is we have um, results from a student's experiment. And we are asked to draw a graph of the student's results. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the correct labels along the X and the Y axis. The X axis is always the factor that we're in control of. And in this, we are in control of time. And time from the table is measured in seconds. You always have to have the unit as well as the label. Okay, um, the volume of gas um, is here. I'm going to just turn my paper around. Volume of gas, and that's measured in centimetres cubed. So by extracting um, from the table the two labels plus the units, that gets you one mark in National 5. Okay. Next thing that we have to do is we have to do an appropriate scale. Now, what you'll find is for the factor that you're in control of, it's a nice, easy scale for us to work along. So what we can see is it goes up in tens. So we need to start here at zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and that could be 100, but I'm not gonna put that in. It only goes up to 80. The harder part is for us to work out the appropriate scale that we're going to use for the volume of gas. Now, what you have to do is you have to look at the two values. We can see that it goes from the lowest value of zero. We always want to start our scale at zero. And the highest value we have to go up to, which is given in the table for the volume of gas, is 80. So I always use a rule, one, then two, then five, then 10. So can I go up in ones to get up to 80? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, I can't. Next number's 2. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. No. Can I go up in 5s? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. No. Can I go up in 10s? 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Yes. That works for us so we're going to go up in tens on this scale also and i can squeeze the wee 100 up the top so that gets us two marks now we also get a mark for drawing the appropriate graph when we have two numbers on our scale so that's a number along our x-axis and a number along our y-axis, we're going to be drawing a scatter graph, okay? So to do this, we look at the time of zero, which is the first time shown in the table. And the volume of gas is also zero. So at that point there, where the two axes meet along the same, we pop, plop a wee point. Um, we then look at 10 seconds, and we have 48, so if we go up to 40, and what I can see is there's only five boxes between 40 and 50, which means each box is worth two. So 42, 44, 46, 48. And I plot a little point there. At 20 seconds, I got up to 62, so I got up to 60 and got one box, which would give me 62. Now, what you'll see is the next value that they ask us, which is recorded for time, is not 30, but is 40. So we have to be careful of that because that's sometimes where we can make a mistake. If we go to 40 and we go up to 70 and two boxes up, would give me 72, 74. 50, I go up to 70, 72, 74, 76, and then half a box for 77. 60, I want to go up to 79, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, half a box, 79. At 70, I want to go up to 80, which is a nice, easy one for me to plot. And 80 also is 80. So I got one mark there for doing my correct plots. 
And the last mark that we get is for doing a line of best fit. Now, what we can see is from this data, uh, the trend shows more of a curve than a line. So what we want to do here is we want to join the dots in one sweeping motion, trying to get as many of those dots joined together in one sweeping motion. You have to make sure you go through zero because we've got a value for zero, zero. And you have to go through this as well, okay? Probably do that bit more of a curve there. And that there will get you your four marks at National 5 for a rates graph. This past paper questions from the National 5 2015 written 1B and we are asked to draw a graph of the students results okay now the marking on this is out of three but the updated marking scheme will give us out of four so we're going to use that new marking scheme that's been provided by the National 5 SQA so if you want to have a go at this question you can and when you're ready uh, press resume and I will go through exactly how to work this out and you can compare mine against your own so first thing that we have to do is we have to write the correct labels and units. Remember the factor we're in control of always goes on the x-axis and we're in control of time. And the unit is seconds. On the y-axis, this time we have volume of ethane. And the unit we're measuring that is centimetres cubed. So by copying the labels and units that are given in the table, you're guaranteeing yourself one mark out of four. Next thing that we have to do is we have to do our appropriate scale. So if I look at time, I can see that that goes up consistently. It's a nice uh, scale already provided. So we start at zero and then we're going up in 30, zero, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and 210. 30 between each of the values, and I could extend that to 240 and 270. The tricky one is always the one that's on the y-axis. This is the one that we have to go up in. We can see that the lowest value, which has got to be here, has to be zero because that's provided in the table, okay? And the biggest number we have to go up to is 152. So we're going to do that real again, where we go up in ones, then twos, then fives, then tens. Can I go up in ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I cannot. Can I go up in twos? Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. No, because I still don't reach that top value of 152, which I have to plot. Can I go up in fives? 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. No, can I go up in 10s? 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. No, I can't even go up in 10s. So the next number we'll try is 20s. 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Would that work? Yes. So we're going to go up in 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, and 180. And that will get you two marks eh, in total for your final um, mark. Now, what we want to maybe do here is we need to work out what each little box is worth. Now, what I can see is from 0 to 20, eh, I have got five boxes. 20 divided by 5 means each box is worth 4, okay? Each little box is worth 4. So let's go on to deciding which type of graph we've got. We've got a number scale along the bottom. We've got a number scale along the top. That gives us two numbers, which means we're going to be using a scatter graph, which you'll probably see in old uh, past papers is known as a line graph. We now call this a scatter graph. First one that we want to plot is at time zero, we've got zero, which would be here. At 30, we've got 60, which is a nice easy one for us to plot. 60, we have 96, so we've got up to 80, uh, or we might go up to 100. 100 minus 4, because remember each little box is worth. So if 100, I go one box down, that would give me 96. 
At 90, we want to go up to 120. Again, a nice easy one for us to plot. At 120, we want to go up to 140. Again, a nice one for us to plot. At 150, we want to go up to 148. So I'd go up to 140. Remember, each box is worth four. 144, 148. At 180, I want to go up to 152. So again, I'm going to go up to 140. 144, 148, 152. And at 210 seconds, I've got 152, which is the exact same as I plotted before. So you can see it's really important that you know how to work out your own scale. And we want to make sure that we're using that 1, then 2, then 5, then 10. Then you would be using 20, 50, 100. What we can see now is that we have a nice little curve. So we're wanting to join these as best as we can in one sweep in motion. So by doing this, we are gaining our fourth mark, doing a line of best fit. We have to go through zero because it's also plotted on our table.